The International Trade Center (ITC), French: Centre du Commerce International (CCI), is a multilateral agency which has a joint mandate with the World Trade Organization (WTO) and the United Nations (UN) through the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development (UNCTAD). Through its work, the ITC contributes directly to 10 of the Sustainable Development Goals. These include 1 Sudanese pound no poverty, goal 2 zero hunger, goal 4 quality education, goal 5 gender equality, goal 8 decent work and economic growth, goal 9 industry, innovation and infrastructure, goal 10 reduced inequalities, goal 12 responsible production and consumption, goal 16 peace, justice and strong institutions, and goal 17 partnerships for the goals. The headquarters of the ITC are situated in Geneva, Switzerland. Their staff consists of approximately 300 employees spanning more than 80 nationalities. Furthermore, ITC has country-based project offices where they employ experts from the specific region. Topic History ITC is the successor of the International Trade Information Center, which the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade GATT established in 1964 for the purpose of assisting the export promotion efforts of the developing countries by providing them with information on export markets and marketing, and to help them develop their export promotion services and train the personnel needed for these services. In an effort to streamline the United Nations export promotion efforts, an agreement was reached between the GATT, which at that time and in contrast to its successor, the WTO, was part of the United Nations system, and the newly established UNCTAD, to merge the activities of the two organizations by creating a joint subsidiary. The agreement was reached in 1967 and the International Trade Center the explicit reference to information was dropped was officially established on 1 January 1968. Topic role within the UN The ITC enjoys a joint mandate with the World Trade Organization WTO as well as with the United Nations UN through the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development UNCTAD. Within this framework, ITC is the focal point for trade-related technical assistance. Topic programs The ITC is involved in projects providing trade technical assistance in countries all over the world. Topic Advancing Afghan trade launched in 2016 following Afghanistan's accession to the WTO under the name Afghanistan, Trade for Economic Growth and Regional Cooperation, is an initiative undertaken by the European Union EU and the ITC that uses trade as a mean to create economic growth and jobs, to reduce poverty and to enhance regional cooperation. The goal of this project is to prepare Afghan enterprises to compete in regional and global markets by helping to provide a business-friendly environment and increasing Afghanistan's trade capacities. The program consists of a three-year plan 2016-2019 and the Ministry of Commerce and Industry is involved in its implementation. It is funded by the EU and has a budget of €4.5 million. Euros. Topic ethical Fashion Initiative The Ethical Fashion Initiative focuses on the specific skills of artisans and brings them to known fashion brands such as Stella McCartney, Marnie, Vivian Westwood, Eden and Camper. This synergy helps artisans from developing countries such as Kenya, Burkina Faso and Haiti to gain a living while it exposes the designers to unique skills and handmade goods. The initiative also involves mentorship programs for aspiring African designers as well as collaborations on the continent. Topic. Market analysis tools ITC developed several free-of-charge online market analysis tools such as the Export Potential Map, Investment Map, Market Access Map, Procurement Map, Standard Map and Trade Map. Topic. Your own trade and investment facilitation mechanism The Eurome Trade and Investment Facilitation Mechanism comprises a free-of-charge online portal for country and product-specific information on tariffs and duties, import and export procedures, and market requirements. There are regular updates of the information thanks to a network of national focal points in each participating Mediterranean country. The Eurome Help Desk is available in English, French, Arabic, and Turkish. The goal is to boost economic integration because due partly to a lack of availability and transparency of trade-related information, Eurome countries don't engage a lot in intra-regional trade. The project is funded by the European Union EU. 
ITC is in charge of the implementation of the Eurome Trade and Investment Facilitation Mechanism. Topic: <laughs> EU Sri Lanka Trade Related Assistance. The EU Sri Lanka Trade Related Assistance Project aims to increase the trade competitiveness of Sri Lankan small and medium size enterprises (SMEs) in regional and European Union (EU) markets. The project has a duration of four years and is worth €8 million. Euros. It is funded by the European Union EU. It supports SME export competitiveness and value addition in various sectors such as spices, food and information technology. The project addresses compliance standards and efficiencies in cross-border procedures, which are key constraints to market access, especially for SMEs. Topic. Gambia Youth Empowerment Project YEP The Gambia Youth Empowerment Project YEP aims at the enhancement of the skills and employability of potential and returning migrants. ITC supports youth employment and entrepreneurship through vocational trainings and partnerships with domestic and international skills development institutions and the private sector. <laughs> Netherlands Trust Fund – Phase 3 NTF3. The Netherlands Trust Fund 3 NTF3 Export Sector Competitiveness Program started in 2013 as successor following NTFI and NTF2. It is based on a partnership agreement between the Dutch Centre for the Promotion of Imports from Developing Countries CBI affiliated to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Netherlands and the ITC. The aim of the program is to strengthen the export competitiveness of IT services in Bangladesh, Kenya and Uganda, as well as the tourism sector in Myanmar, the avocado producers in Kenya, and coffee plantations in Uganda. Non-tariff measures The Non-Tariff Measures Program provides an interactive platform that fosters transparency and understanding of the obstacles that non-tariff measures pose to international trade by limiting exports and imports through compliance to specific requirements. The program is a multi-agency initiative that helps countries to find solutions that take their respective specific needs into account. The Non-Tariff Measures Program is in close collaboration with national and regional stakeholders. Topic. Promoting intra-regional trade The Promoting Intra-Regional Trade program launched in 2013 focuses increasing the export competitiveness of honey, mango and spice producing SMEs in Kenya, the United Republic of Tanzania and Zambia. It is a three-year program that is implemented by the ITC in collaboration with lead organizations in each country. The Government of Finland finances the Promoting Intra-Regional Trade Program. Topic trade and Environment The certified natural resource-based product market helps to reduce poverty and is good for the environment. However, standards and regulations as well as a lack of information and contact pose important obstacles for many entrepreneurs in developing countries to enter this market. The international regulatory framework poses further constraints on this trade. The ITC through its Trade and Environment Program tries to mitigate these constraints and to increase the capacity of SMEs to be competitive in this market. Topic women and Trade The Women and Trade Program is an initiative aiming at connecting 1 million women entrepreneurs to trade by 2020. This initiative thereby contributes directly to the SDG No. 5 by empowering women. Topic Shetrades Within the women and trade context, the Shetrades Initiative, which is a flagship program of the ITC, takes a preeminent place offering women entrepreneurs an online platform to connect to markets. The app allows female entrepreneurs to share information about their companies thereby increasing their visibility and enabling them to connect and internationalize. This helps to include more women entrepreneurs in the supply chains of corporations. The platform was developed through a competition of suggestions for the platform. The winner, Greenbell Communications of Kenya, was able to team up with Google and CI&T to further develop his suggestion. The end product, the Shetrades platform, was launched in 2015 at the International Women in Business Forum in Nairobi. Since its launch, a growing number of organizations have already signed on to the platform to verify women entrepreneurs that are members of their networks. 
Topic youth and Trade Program The Youth and Trade Program focuses on providing a strong environment in which young entrepreneurs can evolve and receive assistance when needed. This helps them to grow and internationalize while at the same time providing income opportunities thereby helping the economy grow. The program contributes directly to the Sustainable Development Goal 4 Skills for Entrepreneurship as well as Goal 8 Decent Work and Inclusive Growth. Topic programs Topic Export Potential Map The Export Potential Map is an online tool allowing businesses and countries to identify what goods and services to export and to where. The idea is that through the precise economic analysis provided by the Export Potential Map, companies can target new markets and policymakers can optimize their policies and support programs for their exporters. The Export Potential Map covers information about 222 countries and territories. Topic investment map The investment map is designed to help investment promotion agencies IPAs in defining priority sectors for investment promotion, identifying potential investors in a given sector, identifying competitor countries for inward investment, and defining opportunities for bilateral investment. It holds a vast amount of information and statistics on foreign direct investment and international trade, tariff data and activities of multinational firms and allows an analysis by country, trading partner and sector. The investment map was developed by the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development UNCTAD and ITC in partnership with the World Association of Investment Promotion Agencies WIPA, and the Multilateral Investment Guarantee Agency MIGA, which is part of the World Bank Group. Topic market access map The market access map assembles information on custom tariffs as well as tariff rate quotas, trade remedies, rules and certificates of origin, non-tariff measures and trade flows. This kind of information is crucial to help users to identify export markets. Topic. Procurement map The procurement map was designed by the ITC in order to boost entrepreneurship and market opportunities by offering users detailed information over 150,000 public tenders. The map allows users to undertake a search by country or economic sector. This allows them to identify potential buyers. Topic. Standard map The standard map provides verified and transparent information on more than 200 voluntary sustainability standards and other similar initiatives covering issues ranging from food quality to safety. This allows producers, manufacturers, brands, retailers, researchers and policymakers to identify standards relevant for their own businesses, to compare them and save and share their sustainability diagnostic report with actors along the value chain via the sustainability network. Topic. Trade map The trade map developed by the ITC offers strategic market research with detailed statistical information on international trade flows helps them gauge the competitiveness of national and sectoral trade performance and identify priority products and markets for trade development for both firms and trade support institutions. Topic. Events. Topic. Shetrades Global Shetrades Global is a two-day annual conference. The first forum took place in 2011 and until 2018 the conference was called Women Vendors Exhibition and Forum. Topic. Trade for Sustainable Development Forum T4SD. The Trade for Sustainable Development Forum T4SD, is an annual leading global event organized by the ITC. T4SD connects communities in policy and business, trade and sustainability, while challenging thought leaders to bridge the gap between debates on sustainability standards, supply chains, and international trade to work towards achieving the UN Global Goals for Sustainable Development SDGs. Trade Promotion Organization TPO, World Conference and Network 
Created in 1996 with the intention to offer a platform to facilitate the dynamic exchange of information, good practices, experiences and collaboration about offering export-oriented services among trade promotion organizations TPOs, the Trade Promotion Organization Network provides a platform where individual organizations may benefit from the synergies of TPOs working together in order to achieve continual and mutual improvement through online and offline forums. The TPO Network World Conference takes place every two years and is open to all trade support institutions mandated to provide trade-related technical support services. During the conference, TPO Network Awards are awarded to leading national trade promotion organizations mandated by their governments to promote the export promotion strategy of their countries. TPOs participate in the TPO Network Awards in categories defined according to the economic development status of the countries where their national headquarters are located. The World Export Development Forum The World Export Development Forum is an annual global platform with the goal to develop SMEs. The first conference was held in 1999. The event is attended by more than 600 senior national and international policymakers, heads of trade support organizations, business leaders and representatives of international agencies. WEDF comprises high-level plenaries, workshops and facilitated business-to-business -business meetings enabling participants to increase their practical knowledge in the latest innovations, processes and policies while expanding their networks. Topic. Partner events ITC, with its goal to support SMEs and their development impact in international trade, collaborates with its partner organizations, the World Trade Organization and the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development for events in order to achieve its aim. Examples for this partnership include amongst others the WTO Public Forum and Aid for Trade Conference. Topic. Executive Directors ITC had since its creation in 1964 six Executive Directors. Twice in its history the position was vacant, in the early 70s and the early 90s, ITC's Executive Director is a senior international civil servant of the United Nations with the level of Assistant Secretary General. ITC's executive director as well as the deputy executive director are appointed by the heads of its two parent organizations, the Director General of the WTO and the Secretary General of the UNCTAD. Topic. Funding The work of the ITC is financed by contributions from the private sector as well as resources provided by beneficiary countries and international organizations. Topic. See also United Nations World Trade Organization United Nations Conference on Trade and Development Trade and Development Topic. References Topic. External links Official website Export potential map Investment map Market access map Procurement map Standard map Trade map Euromed Trade and Investment Facilitation Mechanism